welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video. We are going to be going into Hobby Lobby and checking out the spring decor for this year for 2023. I have seen a few videos like this and I've been in and out of Hobby Lobby over the past few weeks. You know me, I can't stay away. But we're getting towards the end of February, which is crazy to say. So I'm hoping that they're gonna have everything out today. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Make sure that you subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. I make homemaking, DIY, and home decor content every single week. And let me know what some of your favorite things are that you saw today. And give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. I believe that's everything. Let's go ahead and head on into Hobby Lobby. Alrighty, we are walking on into Hobby Lobby. Mostly all of the things that I'm going to show you today are 40% off. That's what this spring shop is labeled. But there are a few sections like the floral section and wall decor section that were 50% off when I went. If you don't know how Hobby Lobby works, basically anything that doesn't have a Your Price sticker goes on a 50% off rotation every week. So I'm starting with some beautiful florals. I loved everything that I saw. They have so many different varieties. It's really making me wonder what I want to do with my spring color scheme this year if I want to do something a little bit more muted or if I wanted to add some pops of color but I loved all the different variations they had they had some bright purples bright pinks they pretty much have a stem for everyone and like I said when I went this week it was 50% off so make sure that if you go to Hobby Lobby I would go two weeks in a row that way you can get as much savings as possible but I love how all of these look super realistic and it makes me super excited to start my garden this year so I'm just gonna be showing you guys a few of my favorites I found a lot of accent flowers there's a lot that you can pair together into bouquets there's a lot of statement flowers that can stand on their own such as these hydrangeas which are beautiful I think they're so realistic and fun looking and they also had a lot of roses so if you are in the need for some different colored roses they had all different sizes and all different colors they are a little bit more on the expensive side but I would recommend going when the florals are all 50% off so we started at the very first floral display when you walk in in, but there is a secondary one over on the right hand side at least at my Hobby Lobby and they had a bunch of little dainty ones that I loved. I love the ones that are mostly greenery but they have these beautiful little pops of color and they also had a lot of statement flowers, even more roses if you're looking for those and lots of filler and beautiful wispy options. Now something I haven't seen before is they did have some spring line dried florals and they had a pretty small display of them but the ones that they had were really pretty. I really liked these pink ones that were very dainty and delicate looking and they were 40% off since they're technically part of the spring shop and not part of the floral shop. Now we're going to take a look at some wall decor. Like I said, this is separate from the spring collection, but there are a lot of new pieces that are very springy, vintage inspired, landscape inspired. We talked about this in a video a couple weeks ago about trends and vintage artwork and landscape artwork are here to stay for 2023. I love how homey they make a space feel. I love the texture. Of course, these are manufactured, but I feel like these just look like they're hand painted and they just look so beautiful. A lot of them have lots of different colors if you want to add a pop of color but they also had lots of neutral pieces as well and I just love how all of these add a lot of character to a space of course the big ones are a little bit more expensive but I feel like something that looks like a hand-painted piece is worth it I just love all the details and how homey it looks now we're heading over to the big wall of wicker baskets and wooden shelves wooden risers wooden stools there's a lot to choose from in this section and I loved these rustic little stools they came in a lot of different sizes I'll show a few more later but I just love how they add so much character you can prop a plant on them with the baskets you can use them for storage if they are the right size you can use them to put a little plant in I love this riser I feel like it looks so pretty with a soap dispenser on it and then maybe a little plant next to a sink or even in a kitchen with hand soap and dish soap I feel like it's just such a great way to elevate it and this is the basket that I was talking about in my video a couple weeks back I love the leather detail on it I love that you can stick some flowers in it. I like the unique shape of it and the different tones of the wicker. It looks so beautiful on a door or anything like that. 
Now there weren't a bunch of pillows that I loved, but this one was so pretty. I love the embroidery details on them and the pops of color, very vintage and fun. And I also liked these planters. These were new this year and they look like they're solid concrete or something. They look super rustic and I just like how modern they are, but they also add some warmth. They also had lots of runners for doormats or even for a kitchen sink or anything like that. They had a lot to choose from for really good prices. You can even layer them on your front door and there's just lots of different colors and patterns that this came in which I thought was super fun. And also I wanted to take a look at some of the gardening supplies. I loved all of these watering cans. The gold one is super fun looking and it was 40% off so 40% off of 40 is not too bad. And then this little white one was so cute as well. Especially if you only have like a couple house plants or something like that. Something like a little watering can or even this little mister would be perfect. And I love the details on this mister. It looked so vintage and fun. And this is the part of the store where I was super surprised by all of the new rivals a sort of kitchen slash bathroom section they had so many fun wood accents i loved this little toothbrush organizer slash holder it wasn't the thickest wood it's not something super heavy duty but i feel like it looks really nice again more wicker and more tissue box covers i feel like these are super popular right now and then i found this sushi set i feel like this was so cute and fun looking and then it had these little bowls that you use for like soy sauce and stuff like that which i thought was so fun and then I also found some bowls. These were super lightweight. They were sort of a plastic material, but I love the way they look. And for $4.99, for something like this, I feel like it's so nice. They also had a couple different sizes. So if you're a college student and you're looking for some really inexpensive, fun looking serveware or plates and bowls, this would be a good place to look. They also had a couple different risers and things that you can intentionally group some items together and make them look super styled. They also had some really cute aprons as well. So these are something that we recently invested in and they are super helpful. They also had these really fun sort of vintage inspired dishware. These ones were actually ceramic. They're actually breakable, but they had some really fun vintage barns and greenery. They even had a little piglet down there if that's what you're looking for, but I thought those were fun. They also had these wicker chargers or placemats for underneath plates for any sort of tablescape. They had a little shallow wicker basket. I thought that that was super fun. You could use it as a centerpiece or even on a coffee table and style stuff books and a candle on there. I feel like it looks super cute. There's also so many other things for tablescapes. I thought that these little chargers were fun. I liked these napkin rings. I feel like these look so sophisticated and I like the different tones of the wicker that just add a little bit of interest and just make a tablescape look super elegant. I also like this little spoon rest. It's very simple but I liked the very neutral colors and the earthy tones of it. And they also had even more chargers that match those napkin rings that we were just looking at and these ones are a little bit thicker so if you're looking for something like that that would be a really good option In this section of the store, they also had a lot of organizational things for the bathroom as well as the kitchen. I love this amber glass spray bottle. If you make any sort of custom blend of essential oils or anything, that might be fun as well as this amber glass soap dispenser. The top of it is plastic, I will say that, but it does look more expensive than it actually is and I just feel like it looks so nice. Another thing they had was a lot of like bath salts and soaps. They had a lot of different scents of soaps and and I thought that they were really fun packaging. I feel like they look very vintage inspired and there's obviously a lot to choose from. I thought that these bath salts look super high end. This jar here is an actual mason jar and it's full of all these rose bath salts. This one here is a plastic container even though it doesn't look like it, but I thought that these were really fun too. You could put it in a clear canister. You can leave it in the canister that it came in. It'd be fun for shelf styling, but also practical use for every day as well as these body scrubs. I thought those were fun as well as bath bombs which I have never seen at Hobby Lobby before. And the last thing in this section that caught my eye was this candle. I love the way that this looked. I like how it was sort of frosted, had a fun design on it, and the neutral color. This 
next section was kind of a continuation of the kitchen section, but this had so many cutting boards. I got so excited. They had a lot of two-toned ones. They had a lot of different colors that were cool toned, warm toned. So whatever fits your aesthetic and your kitchen space, they really have everything. I also really liked this skinny one. I think it'd be fun to layer up against a square one or a circle one against a backsplash. And this was my favorite circle one. I thought it was so pretty. And they also had a lot of wooden utensils. These look very vintage and give that very lived in vibe if you put these in any sort of kitchen crock or anything like that. And I think all of the wooden tones just would add so much warmth to a kitchen that can usually be a very cold space. They also had these fun little packages with hand towels and a cutting board, which would make a great gift, and this little berry strainer. I thought that this was so cute. And they also had a couple different colors. That way you could have a couple to choose from. As for the actual spring shop section, they didn't have a lot out. They were actually still putting out a few things, which I was very surprised by. But there were a few things that I noticed that were very trendy right now, like the brass mirrors. And there were a couple larger scale vintage paintings as well. And a lot of very farmhouse inspired things, which isn't necessarily my style. But if it is yours, you will love this section and everything they have to offer. Now, in this video, I couldn't show you a bunch of florals and not show you any vases. When I went this particular week. They were not on a 50% off sale, but like I said, you really just gotta time it and you can get these 50% off. Lots of fun, rustic, aged vessels. They have a lot of texture on them and a lot of them were a really, really good price. There's lots of different sizes, lots of different colors, and I just love everything they have to offer. They just look super high-end, like something you would find on a designer site, and there's lots of different options. And if you're looking for a little pop of color, they have that as well. That wide white dish looks super Super pretty like a piece of china it looks so beautiful with a large bouquet of flowers in the middle of a table or an arrangement also a couple of vases that had a little bit of a wicker sort of seagrass material around them i thought that was super unique and again just a lot of my favorite vases that i feel like would add so much character and while i was over there i also took a little peek at the clearance section a lot of very large planters for really good prices these are the ones that are the your price sticker so they just stay on sale and there are also a couple different larger plants that I felt like look really pretty as well. And lastly, I'm just going to be going through the center sort of displays of Hobby Lobby and showing you guys some of my favorite things. A lot of them were vessels and vases that I thought were really pretty. Vintage inspired pieces that I think would add a lot of character to a space. And this is another thing that wasn't on sale when I went, but again, if you choose the right week, all of these things can be on sale very often. And I feel like there's just so many fun things to choose from. They always display these really well. And I just love all of the different varieties that they have so definitely check out the little displays because they're always changing and the closer you look the more you find very unique one-of-a-kind pieces back out of Hobby Lobby. I was actually pretty impressed with everything. What I was really surprised by was the fact that they still didn't have all of their spring decor out. I feel like Michigan is just like always behind in Hobby Lobby for some odd reason. I've seen so many other YouTubers do this exact video and then their store is fully stocked. But either way, I feel like we found some really, really good things. If you are in need of some vases, planters, flowers, wall decor, tableware, bathroom stuff, like they have so much. So if you're in the need for any sort of refresh items for spring, definitely check out Hobby Lobby. I feel like they have some pretty good options. But that about wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping around Hobby Lobby with me today, checking out all that they have to offer. Make sure you let me know in the comments below which item was your favorite. If you spotted something that you would like to take home, make sure that you comment that down below. You subscribe, you turn on the bell, and you give the video a thumbs up if you Enjoy it. Well, I have to get back to some studying, but thank you so much for spending some time with me over on my channel today, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!